7 Telltale Signs That You Have Effectively Angered an Introvert It's not difficult to maintain the happiness of an introvert. All that is required is that you respect their boundaries. Remember that they usually only have a small group of precious friends, and if you're fortunate enough to be included in that circle, it indicates that they have faith in you. If you manage to make them upset despite the fact that they trust you, you may expect some big drama to happen. They may not express their dissatisfaction with you verbally, and while you may think nothing's happening, there are signals to look out for that will let you know they're dissatisfied with your actions. Here are seven of those indicators. But first, I'd like to invite you to contribute to the growth of this channel by clicking on the like button below this video. And if you're a first-time viewer here, make sure you don't miss out on future updates by subscribing to this channel. 1. They respond in monosyllabic forms to the questions. Introverts have a difficult time expressing their rage, mainly because they want to avoid conflict as much as possible. As a result, when they become enraged, they shut down. Finding a way to get them to speak with you is difficult, and if they do have to speak with you, they make every effort to keep it as brief as possible. Better yet, they would send you letters rather than meet you in person. 2. They don't pick up the phone when you call. If you annoy an introvert, Rather than getting into problems with you, they will choose to stay as far away from you as possible and avoid you, even your phone calls and texts. They will exclude you from their lives until they make the decision to forgive you. Introverts despise issues and would do anything to avoid them at all costs. 3. They get uninterested in your presence. Introverts are extremely adept at concealing their emotions. When they're enraged, they might appear calm on the outside, while on the inside, they're seething with rage. Making them furious causes them to lose interest in you and even in the things that they once cherished so much. When you hear an introvert remark to you, whatever, you can be sure that something is wrong. 4. They prefer to focus on something else than you. As previously stated, when you annoy an introvert, they will attempt to avoid you at all costs. One method they will use to avoid you is to immerse themselves in their work so that they will have no time for you. Working is their method of getting away from someone who has gotten under their skin, and they prefer it that way. Some introverts will even choose their pets over you because they believe that pets do not judge or speak. Therefore, they're perfectly content to sit in silence while their pets do their thing. 5. They will not ask for your assistance. This is not to say that they're incapable of completing tasks on their own. Rather, introverts enjoy working with individuals they care about. The situation changes when they are enraged and refuse to ask for your assistance, no matter how time-consuming the task they want to complete. This will make you wonder why they haven't reached out to you for help, so consider there's something wrong with the situation. They would prefer to do things themselves or perhaps even hire someone else to do it for them rather than having to ask you for assistance. 6. They're prone to get annoyed easily. Introverts, just like many of us, can be angered sometimes but they just find it hard to articulate their feelings. As a result, they try to keep their anger under control for as long as possible, and even when you get on their nerves, they don't respond instantly. Instead, they keep everything inside and let it all out at the smallest provocation, leaving you shocked at the intensity of their outburst over such a lighthearted subject matter. 7. They just wish to be left alone. An enraged introvert would like to be left alone most of the time. This is due to the fact that they become exhausted by confrontation and high-stress surroundings and so want time to recharge. Nonetheless, if they are content, they would not choose to be alone. However, if they are unhappy, they would prefer to be alone, avoid as much conflict as possible, sort things out, cool down their mind, and probably they'll come out as if nothing happened. Well, what are your thoughts on this video? I hope I was able to put some light on the matter for you. Thank you for your time. I would appreciate it if you could take a moment to respond to this post in the comments box and share your ideas and experiences. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be the first to know when new videos are released. We'll meet up again in the next video.